All right, man. One. So I'm guy girded up, Fight. like I usually Time am. Oh, it's all right. Time is I body. Ugh. You can't really see that well with this kind of like. Round two. So it's just a little bit difficult. Clockwork. I mean, I don't know. Body. Oh. Close though. Round three. Fight. He's gonna do a super this time. Okay. Oh, not even. Round four. Fight. Oh. Flash gear. Flash gear. So free. Oh, body. Dang, dude. I got Perfect. fucked up. You lose. But like I said, man, like Satsuki's my girl, man, you know. I think she's dope. I love the character. I uh oh, I don't know what happened. I guess I messed it up. Max Geiger is a watchmaker, scientist, and logical thinker. His particular interest lies in the study of time and whether it can be altered or even controlled. Geiger is a zoning character who can control the pace of a match. He's also Fantasy Strike's version of a charge character. Whenever Geiger holds forward, he loses his charge, meaning his gear meter instantly empties. It fills very quickly as long as you either hold back or simply stand in neutral. He can't do either of his two ground special moves or his air C unless he's fully charged up. So in other words, he cannot walk forward and use those moves right away. Because his three gear meter moves have this inherent drawback, they're very good in other ways. His first ground special move is Time Spiral. This projectile gear has an unusually short recovery time. And you can hold the B button down to do a delayed version where Geiger sends the Time Spiral slightly into the future. By delaying your projectile, it lets you fully recover by the time it travels across the screen, so you can follow it and threaten combos or blocks. Here comes a new challenger. Okay. Okay. I like this matchup. I think it's really fun. Round one. Fight. Time spiral. Flash gear. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Time spiral. Time spiral. Yeah. Uh. Time spiral. Time spiral. Time spiral. Uh. Clockwork. Let's see what he does, man. You know, maybe he'll hit some buttons too. Really? Roll the dice. I'm walking up. No, no, I'm not. Yo, he bodied me. What the fuck? Round two. Fight. Time Stay back. I know, I'm kind of wasting it, but... Time spiral. Time spiral. Roll the dice! Time spiral. 
He's gonna do the same kick move or shit. Dang, dude. I'm just testing it. Like, I know he's gonna do it, but I wanna see what the hitboxes are like for those toes. Just a moment. Time Roll the dice! See what it does. Wake up. Oh. oh shit, I didn't realize that. Flash kick, man. I thought that that uh, Round five. super had some startup too. A little bit stuck now. Oh shit, he's gonna roll. Oh, he didn't, he ran. Why can't he throw from that distance? He's fucking retarded. Dude, oh, why did I throw that round away like that? Round seven. I'm gonna get him in the corner Point. and just roll the dice. He's gonna roll. Gotta roll. Shit. I'm gonna get fucked up. No! I got grabbed. That's my fault. That's my fault. Shit. Round one. Fight. <laughs> Melon. Flash fire. Flash gear. Flash gear. Time spider. <laughs> Time spider. Flash gear. Flash gear. Yeah. Let's play. Oh. I'm gonna get fucking rolled on, dude. Oof. Hey. Round two. Fight. 
Try to flash kick him, man, even though I walk forward. Round three. Fight. Take that. Oh, mm. Look out. Time spiral. Time spiral. Flash gear. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, we just fucking threw me and shit. I do like the roll move though. Round four. Fight. Roll the dice. Flash gear. Hey. Ah, clockwork. See what he does. Did he commit to a button? I tried to all say a little bit. He did. Flash gear. Oh, no, I got body on that little dude. Damn, I'm getting fucked up. Round five. Fight. Really? Come on. Ah, clockwork. He'll do super. He'll do super. Yo, shit, his own bomb, dude. Round that was six. a crazy round right there. Fight. I had to mash it. I didn't have it. Look, you that little dude's win. coming for me and shit. Okay. Round Rematched one. up. Fight. Time Time oh, shit. Damn, dude. Ah, What's he gonna do there? Come on. You gonna roll? Yo, he didn't do anything? Round two. Fight. Time spider. Time spider. Time spider. Counter. Roll the dice! 
Ooh. Ugh, I couldn't do anything, man. I got fucked up with that three piece. Okay, man, so he can be rushed down fairly, fairly classic. Fight. Oh, shit. Just block, man. Here's your melon. Damn, yo, he blew himself up. Round five. Fight. Flip. Oh. Just a moment. You know what? I'm a zoner. I'm just gonna stay somewhere at the fucking. He's just gonna approach me. He should be zoning too. I mean, he's a zoner, right? But let's see what happens here. Yeah, I couldn't get out of that shit. I couldn't get out of that shit. Too much shit on the screen. Round six. Fight. game dude I had to bring it to him man couldn't just let him you sleep win. on me you know what I'm saying Zagram K just drinking that coffee you know what I mean Let's see. I mean, I don't want to bore you guys. So, I mean, as if I'm not the most boring person in the world. Uh, oh, let's go to uh, learn Geiger. Max Geiger character is without actually holding forward. So, if you hit with a step kick, you can combo to flash gear. Oh, okay. This move has slow startup, but it's extremely safe on block, allowing him to do pressure strings of several moves. If you hit with a step kick, you can combo to flash gear. Okay. And if you counter hit with it, that is, if you hit the opponent out of the startup of their move, you can actually combo into neutral punch and then into flash gear. 
Geiger's Jump A is a long horizontal kick, which is good for hitting air to air and also for jumping in to do combos. His Air B is Phase Out, a move that briefly stops time for himself, but not for anyone else. During this brief time, he's completely invulnerable. He can use it to avoid enemy moves, even enemy supers, and to mix up his timing and his jump arc to confuse the opponent. And Geiger can still attack after a phase out on the way down. His Air C is a drop gear, a diagonally downward kick. Like any special move, it triggers block damage. You can use it to start pressure strings that threaten even more block damage. You can use it to cross up if you're close. On hit, you can combo off of it. You can't jump forward and use drop gear because it requires you to have full gear meter. This means it's important to consider your spacing so that you can work in a jump straight up C at opportune times. A nice trick is that you can jump forward and phase out, which takes long enough that your gear meter fills up while you're still in the air. Then okay. drop gear before you land. This lets you threaten some offense while still keeping your options open. Your opponent doesn't know if you'll do air C after the phase out, or kick with A, or simply fall straight to the ground. Geiger's time stop super allows him to casually stroll forward while time is stopped. He doesn't attack during the super, and he always walks forward the same fixed distance. While that might sound useless at first glance, it's actually one of the best supers in the game. Think of it as a teleport. If a time spiral hits, or is about to hit, he can time stop to combo for 3 damage. If the opponent does a move from a certain distance away, he can time stop to combo for 2 damage. If they do a move from a different distance, oh, he can it. still time stop for 1 damage. Geiger also controls the far upper part of the screen, which is exactly where Jaina wants to be. If she jumps to shoot an arrow, he can time stop and then flash gear her, guaranteed. If the opponent simply blocks, he can throw a time spiral, then time stop to get behind them, and then jump C into a special to deal a full point of block damage. He can also time stop to simply escape a sticky situation. That said, you can't time stop willy nilly. Right as you stop walking, you're briefly vulnerable, so if you walk into the opponent's throw range and they weren't doing anything, they can throw you every time, or hit you with a fast move on reaction. His air super, Cycloid Revolution, summons a big ball of gears that tracks the opponent. It takes up so much space that it makes it hard for the opponent to move around while it's out, and as they block and wait for it to go away, it gives Geiger plenty of time to grind them down with gears. Geiger can play a standard keep away game with projectiles, backhand pokes, and anti-air, but he can also do lockdown sequences and go on the offense if needed. His versatile time stop super gives him a ton of options on offense and defense as well, and as any watchmaker will tell you, it's time to play Geiger. All right, man. Let's, uh... Setsuki Haruki Let's is a ninja Suki. student at the Fox's Den School. She's eager to learn, especially from Grave, and she's incredibly fast, agile, and stealthy. Setsuki is a rushdown character. She has only five hit points, tied for least in the game, but she makes up for it with her ability to overwhelm the opponent with speed and tricks. Let's start with her air moves. Her air A, B, and C are Dive Kick, Kunai Toss, and Flying Fox. Her flying fox can be done toward the opponent or away, and she can do it two times before landing. On hit or on block, she can also cancel it into her dive kick or her kunai. Her bread and butter combo is flying fox, dive kick, normal attack, then super. That's four damage, and it's one of the most practical four damage combos to land in real matches in the whole game. There's two drawbacks to be aware of here though. She can only do this combo if she has super meter, and the flying fox move has pretty low priority. So if you really need a high priority attack, it's best to start with dive kick and only do three damage total. Her kunai is a great help here though. When she's far, she can throw it pretty safely and use it as cover. This lets her do flying fox more safely and it can lead to a whopping five damage combo if the opponent somehow happens to get hit by the kunai. It's possible for opponents to hit the kunai out of the air to avoid damage, but it's still a great way to fish for an opening. Now for her ground moves. Her slide is safe on block and it gives plenty of frame advantage, meaning she recovers before the opponent. Her neutral AA is a two hit series of knee then elbow. Her knee is one of the fastest moves in the game. Though it doesn't normally combo to elbow, it's still a good pressure sequence and if you counter hit with the knee, meaning you hit the opponent out of the start of a move, then it really does combo to the elbow. For example, if someone tries to throw you and you hit them out of their throat. All right, man. All right, man, I'm going to end this video here. Thank you guys for watching.
appreciate it as always. And uh, keep at it, right? Later, guys. Peace.